if you want to isolate what the arms do in the golf swing, you've got to separate it from the, what the body does. Because when you, when you have both going at the same time, you can't see what either one's really doing. So here's what happens in, in, the, uh, in the golf swing. Here's what the arms do, independent of the body motion. They go like this. Start out with your hands at midline, the, the butt end of the club's opposite your zipper. And your arms are pushed away in a pushing motion away from your body. They're not pulled. You guys are all taking your right arm like you're starting a lawnmower and pulling it in. That's exactly the opposite of what a Tour Pro does. The Tour Pro basically goes like this and stretches his, well, not just his right arm, but primarily his right arm, out in front of his body like so and slightly to the right. Not straight overhead like Jim Furyk, but slightly to the right and depending on the club, it's going to be at a, between a 25 and a 35 degree angle to the right. So it's kind of like, like this. This is the takeaway. And you're going, no way. That can't be right. You got to take your, you got to go like this with your arm. Well, that's what you're doing. You're taking your arm, you're going like this. I can do it that way, but that's wrong. As soon as I go like that, I'm disconnected from my power source. I've unplugged my, my left arm and my right arm from my chest. And then when I do turn, See where I am? I'm way inside the plane. So, so this is what you guys are doing. Your arms are going like this. You're going across your chest and around your spine and then up. And then down, across, around your spine and across your chest in the forward swing. And that's exactly, I call it the cancer of the golf swing. That's exactly why people can't play. The only time you ever can make decent contact with that move is pure random luck. That explains why you only hit good shots, maybe one out of 15, one out of 20, one out of 25 times. I mean, really good shots. But they don't go long. <laughs> They're still short. Because nobody can hit the ball long doing that. Not even to Tiger Woods. Tiger could hit it. Maybe, maybe he could hit it 240 doing that because he's so strong. But he could hit it 350. But you're disconnected. So. This across the chest, around the spine move is based on an optical illusion because when you watch me swing, it looks like that's what's happening. Your brain sees my arms go like this, but it ain't happening. Why? Because I'm turning right away. I'm doing two things simultaneously. Two body parts are moving in completely opposite directions, kind of like rubbing your tummy and patting your head at the same moment. And your eyes are deceived. It's like, like a magician pulling a rabbit out of a hat. You know intellectually he can't be doing that, but yet your eyes see you pull a, him pull a, a rabbit out of a hat. It's no different. It's an optical illusion that for 500 years has confused golfers. And as far as I know, nobody until now, the 3,000 books on the golf swing in the USGA library has ever figured it out. So I'm pretty happy about this. So it, it really helps people a lot. So I'll do it again. And here's the takeaway. Here's the top of the backswing. You're still going, no way, that can't be. You're supposed to be over here like this. But if you see me do it like from this angle, maybe it'll be easier. Here's the takeaway. Here's the top of the backswing. Now, if I coil, I'll leave my head in this normal position. I'll coil my hips 45 degrees, which is correct. I'll keep my arms in front of my chest where they are. I won't move my arms sideways at all. And I'll just I'll turn my chest 90 degrees, but look down at the ball. It looks like a perfect, you can compare it to any photo of a Tour Pro. It'll look just like this exactly. If I turn my head to face the camera, you may start to see the illusion evaporate. If you look where, where I where, look where my head is and look where my chest is and how my arms and chest are, are in relation to my head. And if I look back, now, now the illusion's operative. Now the illusion starts to disappear. Now, now the illusion's operative. But what really does it, if I turn to face you without moving my hands, you'll see that my, my arms simply went up and slightly to the right. 
but they didn't go across and around across my chest and around my spine. They went, in fact, the opposite direction. They went away from my chest, not this way. They went in front of me and up. And that's that, ladies and gentlemen, is the biggest uh, reason why people struggle with the golf swing. There's other reasons for sure, but this is really, really, really crucial to get. Okay, and when they come down, they just drop. The wrists on cock down, they go away again, crossing my chest after impact, and they go up. Okay, so I'll do it again so you get a good look. It's away, up, coil, and I'll turn to face you. And there's the, there's the illusion right there. So when, you, when I do it wrong, if I do it your way, it would look like this. And you'll see when I had to turn how I get out of position. This is what you guys are doing. And I mean, literally, some of you are doing this where your chest doesn't move at all and your arm just goes like this. This is your takeaway. Then you go up a little bit as you turn a little bit and you're here. Now, if I turn to face you, that's where you are. Now, how are you going to get from here back to impact? You can't. Why? Because your body's blocking your arms. If you drop your arms, they have to go down. You can't hit the ball up here, it's not baseball. Then your right elbow is behind your rib cage, it's stuck. So what do you do when you're here? What's the most common swing flaw? Over the top, you go like that. You get to spin your whole right arm and shoulder assembly out toward the ball to try to square the club face up. But then, then you're out of position, so when you come down and uncoil, you pull the ball. It's, it's this move, it's just over the top. And the ball goes 40 yards left. So when you're in this position, you cannot play good golf. It's just simply physical and possible. Not, Tiger couldn't hit it at all from here. Nobody could. You're stuck behind yourself up here. So you, you can't get here. You got to get here. This is fundamental. You got to get in this position. It's the only way to play good golf. Okay? You, fall, you can also stay there, which a better player will do if they happen to get stuck, and go like this. To, you can roll your arms over, try to score the face, and that'll produce a snap hook. So you go, you go left, right, left, right all day in the golf course, and it'll drive you nuts. And it's all due to being out of position at the top, which is due to being out of position on your takeaway, which is, be, which is caused by literally an optical illusion. So when you see my arms go sideways across my chest and ride my spine, you're forgetting that my chest is turning immediately. I don't go like this and then turn. I keep my upper left arm against my chest and the takeaway, and everything moves together like that. See that? That's the proper takeaway. That's a connected takeaway. I and mean, it keeps the club shaft on plane. So another way I can show is if I do the away part with the arms, which is the takeaway part, like so, and I'm pushing away, I push away, and then add, add a quarter turn of my chest, 45 degrees of my shoulder girdle, so here's zero degrees, here's 90 at the top of the backswing, here's 45, that's half of my backswing chest turn, right? If I do arms first, push away with the arms, then turn my chest 45 degrees, you can see I'm right on plane, right over my toe line, absolutely perfectly on plane. That's how you get on plane, the takeaway. You combine two moves. A 45 degree turn of the chest with a pushing away of both arms, pushing the club away, like so, slightly to the right. You don't, you don't go like this. You don't see me turning my arms like this. A lot of you guys are going like this on the takeaway. Don't do any of that. Just keep your hands quiet. Keep your thumbs vertical, facing the sky. Push it away and, and coil. Push it away and coil at the same time, and you're there. Y'all see that? That's the arm swing illusion. So that's really important. We're going to start doing some drills here in a little bit, and we're going to cover how, how you go about uprooting that optical illusion from your subconscious so that your body can begin to learn the proper mechanics.